Okay, so I'm leaving a Dollar Tree. I just did my research for my Dollar Tree DVD list. You can still sign up for that. I think we have over 200 titles in the database now, so it's doing pretty good. Uh, and one of the things I saw that I know is a great thing to sell is candy. People are always talking about Dollar Tree candy, how it's so easy, it's so accessible. It's something that anybody can go in there and spend 15 bucks and come out and double their money. So I'm gonna go over from worst to best with the best and worst, I guess, Dollar Tree candies are because you don't want to go in there and then buy something that's going to waste your time, right? One of the worst candies you can buy at Dollar Tree is chocolate. Not because it tastes bad or it's low quality, it's Hershey's, it's good stuff. I'm sure people like it a lot, but it melts. As a general rule of thumb, the stickier a candy is, the higher the melting point. Chocolate is going to melt between 85 and 92 degrees and then you can't sell it and you've lost all your money. Uh, and this is the inside of the package too, not the outside. So if it's 84 out and the sun is beating down on a box of or a bag of Hershey's chocolate bars, they're still gonna melt. Uh, it's not that it's unlikable or people don't wanna buy it. It's just that it's a, a bad item to sell because of all of the responsibilities and all of the liabilities involved with it. Now the second best candy to sell, the middle range that I think most people are gonna fall into, we are easily gonna be able to go in there, buy 10 things, uh, and then maybe sell them online so you make a small profit, but most likely I think the way most people are gonna make money doing this is selling them at a concession stands or garage sales or anything like that where it's an in-person transaction. You buy it for a buck, uh, buck 25 and you sell it for two bucks. I know that isn't exactly doubling your money, but it's pretty close. And if you really want to, what I think makes the most sense is sell one for three bucks or two for five and then you really are more than doubling your money. That's why you wanna do that. And that's gonna be the items like Haribo gummies. It's gonna be items like uh, double bubble, bubble gum balls or warheads or name brand candy. Stay away from the Coastal Bay brand of candy. I don't know if Dollar Tree owns them. I don't know if they have a deal with them, but it's a, a cheap private label brand of candy. And I know what you're thinking. Oh, well it tastes the same and yeah, it does taste the same. It's all sugar, it's all sugar, right? But no one's walking down the street at a, you know, a parade or something like that and saying, oh, I could really kill for some Coastal Bay candy ropes. No, but when they see Warheads or they see Haribo gummies, maybe you keep them in a cooler. Who knows? That's how you keep it out of the sun. When they see those items, they're more likely to buy them, especially if they have kids around, especially if there's that name recognition. So, so far we've talked about the things you kind of want to avoid and then like what the bread and butter is. Uh, what the meat and potatoes is, what the candy is, what the stuff you're gonna sell more of is. Now here's what you really wanna hold out for. And this stuff is gonna be selling for five, to sometimes 10 times what you paid for at Dollar Tree, and that's discontinued items. So let's take Mike and Ike's for example. They have a whole row of theater box Mike and Ike's selling for a buck 25. You're gonna make a couple dollars if you sell the ones that are in stock, not out of production, but if you can find some ones that are out of production because hey, guess what? Like the Wiley Wallaby licorice we found in our last Dollar Tree video, Dollar Tree does have discontinued types of candy. If you have something like uh, Cotton Candy, Mike and Ike's, a pack of 12 of those can sell for over 70 bucks on eBay. And they have them in these stores. Now it's gonna take some time on your part to go in there, check what there is, become familiar with what the regularly in stock candies are, and then you can recognize what a special edition candy is. But once you do that, if you pair the kind of daily sales, if you live in a, a city, really a great way to do it or maybe you can you know walk around a baseball diamond in your suburban community there's tons of ways you got to creative you can sell the middle range that way and then have a great day and make 50 or 100 bucks when you stumble upon some limited edition out of stock candy there at dollar trees i'm blake thank you for watching really appreciate it. give it a thumbs up if you're going to do this and i'll see you guys later